Here's a quick shot of the supplies I used, but I'll go ahead and list them in the description below. I chose the guillotine type cutter um, because this is the easiest way to chop a lot of blocks. And my um, courtyard is two feet by three feet. And I chose one and a half by three inch bricks, but you can choose whatever size you like. Next, we're going to mark your surface with just a pencil so that your bricks don't line up wonky after time. Here you'll see me checking just to make sure that the grout lines are going to be spaced the way I want. The cork does come with an adhesive backing, but I don't trust that to last over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put tacky glue on each one of these bricks. That way I know it's gonna stay in place. Here's a time-saving tip for you, and this worked so good. I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought this cake decorating icing bag and I filled it with spackling. This made the lines so neat and there was a lot less um, spreading. Like with if you were doing it with your fingers, it didn't like spread all over the cork bricks. As you can see through the right, I started it with my fingers and then I thought, no, I'm gonna go ahead and try this icing bag hack. And it worked perfect. And it's reusable because it rinsed out perfectly fine. And it's only $1.25, so um, you can have a couple of these on hand. Next, you'll use your finger to push the grout into the lines, removing any kind of excess. And next, it's time to paint. I use a less expensive ivory color as my base because that kind of soaks into the um, cork. So don't use your expensive paint to start with. And I ended with a Liquitex, um, kind of a thicker parchment colored paint to give it that like stone look. That's it, you guys, it's so simple. It's just time consuming, especially when you're doing a large piece like this. Have a great day.